Hello, Chaz Marler from Pair of Dice Paradise, and I'm here to share with you my obligatory predictions of what's to come in the board gaming world in 2015. <clears throat> well, actually, that was my original plan. However, everyone else already beat me to it by publicly posting their own predictions last week. Oddly enough, I didn't see that coming. So, since that New Year's cliché has already been taken, I will instead switch to the completely original idea of sharing my three board gaming New Year's resolutions with you. New Year's resolutions, the holiday tradition equivalent of sharing slides of your recent tour of a cheese factory. <laughs> New Year's resolution number one. Last year, I focused on playing as many different games with as many different people as possible. This year, I hereby resolve to focus on the quality of my gaming experiences instead of the quantity. While last year I focused on making new relationships, this year I will focus on fostering those relationships, even if it means playing fewer games and being choosier about what games I play, where I play them, and how often. Now, will this approach be counterproductive to the gaming group that I host and to my own battles with social anxiety? Well, time will tell. Secondly, after having nearly half of the board game purchases that I made this last year delayed 60 or more days due to pre-order items that got pushed back, including the Machikoro Harbor expansion, pre-ordered back in October, which, due to labor disputes, is still stuck in a shipping container somewhere. <laughs> My second New Year's resolution for 2015 is that I shall not give in and purchase products on a pre-order basis anymore. Really, no, I mean it. If other people go out and pre-order all the copies of a game before it hits store shelves, causing me to miss out on its initial release, then so be it. The King of New York's and Machi Koro Harbor expansions of the world shall not fool me again with their deceptive pre-order trickery. I will, instead, focus on games that have already shipped, arrived, and been stocked on store shelves. Games like Imperial Assault. Yeah, Imperial Assault! Thirdly, I resolve that I absolutely will not give in and purchase Imperial Assault. Really, no, I mean it. As for the reason why, well, that will be the focus of the topic we discuss next time. Until then, did you make any board game New Year's resolutions? If so, let me know what they are, and I'll talk to you next time. <coughs> <laughs>